No, no, no. Not God bless America. God damn America. That's in the Bible. Prior to Abraham Lincoln, the government in this country said it was legal to hold Africans in slavery in perpetuity. Perpetuity is one of the University of Chicago words. That means forever. From now on. When Lincoln got in office, the government changed. Prior to the passing of the 13th, 14th, and 15th Amendments to the Constitution, the government defined Africans as slaves as property. Property. People with no rights to be respected by any whites anywhere. The Supreme Court of the government, same court, granddaddy court of the one that stole the 2000 election, Supreme Court said in its Dred Scott decision in the 1850s, no African anywhere in this country has any rights that any white person has to respect at any place, anytime. That was the government's official position backed up by the Supreme Court, that's the judiciary, backed up by the executive branch, that's the president, backed up by the legislative branch and enforced by the military of the government. But I stopped by to tell you tonight that governments changed. Prior to Harry Truman's government, the military in this country was segregated. But governments changed prior to the civil rights and equal accommodations laws of the government in this country. There was back segregation by the country, legal discrimination by the government, prohibited blacks from voting by the government. You had to eat in separate places by the government. You had to sit in different places from white folk because the government says so. And you had to be buried in a separate cemetery. It was apartheid American style from the cradle to the grave, all because the government backed it up again. Guess what? Governments changed under Bill Clinton. We got a messed up welfare to work bill, but under Clinton, blacks had an intelligent friend in the Oval Office. Oh, but governments changed. The election was stolen. We went from an intelligent friend to a dumb Dixiecrat, a rich Republican who has never held a job in his life, is against affirmative action, against education, I guess he is, <laughs> against health care, against benefits for his own military, and gives tax breaks to the wealthiest contributors to his campaign. Governments change sometimes for the good and sometimes for the bad. But I'm fitting to help you again. Turn back and say, he's fitting to help us again. Where governments change, Write this down, Malachi 3.6. Malachi 3.6, thus saith the Lord. Repeat it after me, for I am the Lord, and I change not. That's the King James Version. The New Revised says, for I, the Lord, do not change. In other words, where governments change, God does not change. God is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. That's what his name, I am, means, you know. He does not change. There is no shadow of turning in God. One songwriter puts it this way. As thou hast been, thou forever will be. Thou changest not. Thy compassions, they fail not. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord unto me God does not change God was against slavery on yesterday and God who does not change is still against slavery today God was a God of love yesterday and God who does not change is still a God of love today God was a God of justice on yesterday and God who does not change is still a God of justice today turn to your neighbor and say God does not change where governments lie, God does not lie. Where governments change, God does not change. And I'm through now. But let me leave you with one more thing. Governments fail. The government in this text, comprised of Caesar, Quirinius, Pontius Pilate, Pontius Pilate, the Roman government failed. The British government used to rule <laughs> From east to west, the British government had a union jack. She colonized Kenya, Ghana, Nigeria, Jamaica, Barbados, Trinidad, and Hong Kong. Her navies ruled the seven seas all the way down to the tip 
of Argentina in the Falklands. But the British government failed. The Russian government failed. The Japanese government failed. The German government failed. And the United States of America government, when it came to treating her citizens of Indian descent fairly, she failed. She put them on reservations. When it came to treating her citizens of Japanese descent fairly, she failed. She put them in internment prison camps. When it came to treating the citizens of African descent fairly, America failed. She put them in chains. The government put them on slave quarters, put them on action block, auction blocks, put them in cotton fields, put them in inferior schools, put them in substandard housing, put them in scientific experience, experiments, put them in the lowest paying jobs, put them outside the equal protection of the law, kept them out of their racist bastions of higher education and locked them into positions of hopelessness and helplessness. The government gives them the drugs, builds bigger prisons, passes a three strike law and then wants us to sing God bless America. No, 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 not God bless America, God damn America that's in the Bible for killing innocent people. God damn America for treating her citizens as less than human. God damn America as long as she tries to act like she is God and she is supreme. The United States government has failed the vast majority of her citizens of African descent.